Welcome back to Bloom. As events are being planned for summer, we're all looking for creative ways that we can entertain safely. Joining us now is Marley Major, AKA the Party Goddess, with tips for making your next virtual event the talk of the town. Welcome to Bloom, Marley. Thank you. Thanks for having me. We're sort of blooming in the background here. I didn't realize. I like it. We're twinning sort of virtually. So speaking of virtually, everybody's getting yeah. so tired and looking at those four squares on Zoom or whatever, you know, online venue that you use. How can we make it less boring? Well, first of all, I'm trying to practice what I preach. So the backdrop is important. It's intentional that I chose this yellow with the kind of black and white pattern just because we are so visual. You know, we make decisions so quickly based on visuals. So the first thing is if you are entertaining or, you know, you're doing a Zoom party, you're doing any kind of virtual party or you're presenting, check your backdrop. And there are so many ways to do this. Like you can put a sheet, you know, over a door and have it be a, a different color or a pattern. There are so many ways you can Google. So start with just having an interesting backdrop. The next thing is to start with an interesting idea because there are, if you just say, hey, listen, we're having a Zoom whatever party or virtual party, people, it's like we're over it already, right? It's, it's hard enough to create a fabulous buzz at an event when everybody's all together. And it's even harder when everybody's, some people are together and some people are on camera. So you've got to start with a really great idea that's going to draw people in and get them excited before they even get on the call if it's if it's a virtual party. So now Easter is right around the corner and, you know, yeah. families want to get together and a lot of us aren't going to be able to be in the same city at the same right. time. How can we make Easter or spring brunch ideas fun at, virtually? Well, a couple of the things that I that are my defaults as far as having parties or entertaining is to do something on an off day. So we all have, you know, brunch plans on Easter. If we celebrate that, it's kind of, it's one of those days. It's like mother's day. Like everybody is doing something. So why not do a party a little bit before where you perhaps like decorate your Easter baskets or create your cards for Easter. Like I just did some fun ones. I don't know if you guys can see it, but you can just decorate your cute, like Easter tags and have everybody like send the supplies to everybody get, that's going to be on the party in the party ahead of time. And like one of the things we did is it doesn't have to be an Easter basket per se, but like create, like if you've got kids, you can see this in the shot, if I'm putting in the shot, right. <laughs> but we have like, we just took these reusable bags and we took some shred that we had and we took this cute clip and put your goodies in that. And then that becomes your Easter basket. It becomes something that you can get out of the way before Easter so you're not scrambling if you've got kids. And it, it's just something that it's like it checks the box. It's more fun. It's more fun to be creative when you've got other people. And the other thing that I say, too, is have everything do double duty. So let's say you have the kind of pre -Zoom party and you're decorating Easter baskets. Then and you're having a small group for Easter put those bags on the table with their you know name on the cards that you made so it's like a place setting also and then guess what you have less decor on the table that you've got to put to, to decorate and then everybody takes them home and it kind of like helps with cleanup also all right so we have just about a minute left and let me quickly yep. ask you whether it's a holiday or any other celebration right. what are the most important things that we need to do to make a virtual event a success I can't say this enough. You have to over communicate because remember people are at all different levels. Uh, some people are super tech savvy and some people aren't. So what I always say is like, yes, send your invitation for the party via email. Great. But if you have people's cell phone numbers, the morning of text them the zoom link and the con, you know, the, the info. The more you can send reminders, the better. The other thing is don't hesitate to kind of organize the event really more methodically than you might. Like you need an MC, you need somebody who's gonna kind of bring people in who are coming in at different times during the party and keep things moving so people want to stay on there and they want to have, they want to engage with you. I love those, such great ideas, Marley. Thank you so much for joining us on Bloom. I appreciate it.
And for Thanks more, for having me. of course, and for more fun ideas, you can follow Marley on Instagram at the Party Goddess or visit thepartygoddess.com. There's more bloom ahead.